Hello friends, my little kitty cat. Here we are for another Try It Tuesday. Um, sorry about missing last week's Try It Tuesday, but I've got to tell you, I had a snot farm brewing in my head that you wouldn't believe, brother. So, had to take a week off. I hope you enjoyed the Jennifer McGuire clip that I threw on here for you. Um, okay, so here's what we're going to do this week. I, when Christine and I were in the scrapbook store yesterday, I was looking at the August 2008 Creating Keepsakes magazine cover. I do not have it with me because I wasn't going to buy it because Christine gets it from the subscription and she just hadn't gotten hers yet. They had a boo-boo or something. I don't know. So anyway, I don't have one to show you, but um, I'm going to put a little photo of it on the blog down there somewhere um, that I'm going to steal off of Amazon.com. Okay? So you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. But what we're going to do today is I want to make a ribbon border and we're kind of going old school on this. In fact, my friend Jane, hey Jane, um, she did a weaving class, like a paper weaving class a long time ago, like a hundred years ago, back when, um, the, when I had my store over on Mall Boulevard. And so um, it's kind of funny that we're kind of, this is a throwback technique, except instead of using paper, we're going to use ribbon. And um, in fact, I'm going to use this, let me grab it, I'm going to use this black grain ribbon with some stitching. I, think, I don't know if you've ever seen how I keep my ribbon, but let me see if I can do this without pulling it all out of here. I keep all my ribbon in these little, in the slide out thingy here, and they're all in these little boxes. Oh my gosh, I actually picked the right ribbon. I'm phenomenal. I know. <laughs> Who knew? So, anyway, that's so weird. I mean, I totally just dug in there and got that. Okay, so anyway, see, the ribbon spoke to me. I knew this was the ribbon for me. So I keep them in these little boxes, and then I actually got this idea from my friend Trisha. Um, and then I keep it rolled up in here, and there you go. So this is what we're going to use. Um, and if you have that magazine, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Oh, while I'm at it, I'll go ahead and show you this too. Um, for like the little, oops. For like the assorted ribbons and stuff that's just kind of hanging out. I have some big cards of ribbon there. And then I keep like my little scraps of ribbon that really isn't worth um, rolling up into a ball in these big blocks. Um, I think it's all cropper hopper supplies. I love it. It makes my life so much easier. I don't know if y'all remember back when I used to have the ribbon in the big basket that my cat laid in all the time. And then I'd pull it out and I'd have fur all over my ribbons. And if I wasn't careful, I could even end up with a fur ball in my ribbons. And i got to be honest with you. You talk about me having a snot farm? Trixie has some mucus. That's all I'm saying. She's got some mucus. Okay, we're about to cut off. I'll be right back, okay? Just hold on. Okay. Tools that we're going to need for this project. The ruler that I stole from my 10-year-old. My piece of paper, my exacto knife, and the pencil that I borrowed from Christine's side of the table. Because I let David borrow my pencil yesterday when he went across the street to do a side job for our neighbor, and I haven't seen it since. So, Christine, I'm hawking your, um, your pencil. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're making a border by cutting slits down the side of the page, and then we're going to weave the ribbon through it, okay? So, I'm going to take my ruler and I'm measuring off, I'm just going to line my ruler right up with my, with my edge of my paper here, and I'm going to tick off, um, I'm going to go a half inch from the edge of the page. I know, it's measuring and it's math and it freaks me out too, but it's okay. We'll hold hands and do it together, okay? It's okay. Okay, so measure a half inch from the edge of your page. And then from there, you are going to, you're going to draw a little, a little pencil mark at the half inch mark. And then you're going to go to one and a half, two and a half, three and a half, four and a half, five and a half, six and a half, seven and a half, eight and a half, nine and a half, ten, ten and a half, and eleven and a half. Okay, that way you're going to have nice even um, marks. Oh great, now my camera battery is about to die. Okay, so this may cut out on us. So I'm going to go ahead and cut the slits with my X-Acto knife all the way down, and I'll be back with a fresh pair of batteries in just a minute, okay? Hold on. Okay, we're back. Sorry. All right, so I cut my slits. Um, well, after I went and got a new set of batteries. I cut my slits in my paper um, with my X-Acto knife. Do you know I've had this X-Acto knife for 100 years, and I've never changed the blade? That's how 
seldom I actually use this sucker. I'm scared of it. I feel like I'm going to get my fingers or toes cut off with it. So let's go ahead and put a cap on it, okay? Yeah, there we go. Okay, so I cut little slits in my toe. They're like an inch and a half apart. Doop, 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 doop. And now we're going to take our ribbon. And I'm starting it from the back because I just... I guess I'm starting it from the back because that's what it looks like on the magazine. Um, and I'm going to weave the ribbon in and out of my slit. So I end up with... See how we're doing it? That's not hard, especially for a sewing idiot like myself. See, I'm, I'm kind of sewing, yeah? Maybe little? I know, not really. I know. Shut up. I know. I know. Shut up, Jamie. Shut up. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do all the way down the page. And, um, once I get this done, then, you see how it's going to look? See, that's really cute. And I think that with the grow grain ribbon, you could use it for a boy or a girl page. It totally doesn't have to be a frilly page. And I'm thinking I'm going to use it for Elizabeth's um, softball trophy party thing. So, in fact, I have this paper that I've already cut in half because I know exactly what I'm going to do with it. Um, it's some of the new Harvest Moon from Pink Paisley. Which, don't you wonder, if it's Pink Paisley, why is it blue? I know! It's like basic gray. It's not gray. Or basic. Hmm. Maybe we should all take a moment and ponder that. You know. Okay. So, hold on. I'm going to get to work on my page. We're going to use this. It's going to be a border going down the side. It's going to be lovely. I can't wait. Thank you, Creating Keepsakes, August 2008 cover. Okay. Hang on. Okay. A half a box of Cheez-Its later. I think we've got her finished. You ready? Okay. So, this is what it looks like. I love this page. Love this page. Ah, you ready? Really? Are you really, really ready? Okay. Ta -da! Isn't she pretty? I mean, yeah, my kid's pretty. I'm talking about the page, though. Look. Look at the border. I actually used a different piece of paper than the one that I was trying. And I forgot to go a half inch off the edge of the page because I'm pretty much the world's worst student and I don't even pay attention to what I'm supposed to be doing when I'm supposed to be showing you what to be doing. I know. So I kind of screwed it up a little bit and it's coming off the top of the page here and I had to flub and make a little extra ribbon right there at the bottom. So as you can see the half inch off of the side of the page thing from the top and the bottom is definitely a good idea or else you end up with it a little whoppy like this. But that's okay. I still really dig it. And so then what I did was I put these shiny Making Memories brads in between each thing. And then I just doodled a little spiral around it. I love how this turned out. I love that it's a softball page. But there isn't really anything softball-y on it. Which is kind of nice because after a while you get bored of using those themed embellishments. You know what I mean? So I used the... Um, a to Z chipboard. These are letters, so you can kind of see where I've taken some of them out. These are one of my absolute favorite brands of chipboard letters. They're not self-adhesive, which is good because, honestly, as we've all figured out, self-adhesive chipboard letters suck. And you end up having to put adhesive on them anyway. So why waste the money on throwing some adhesive on there when you can get these puppies? It's a huge, big batch of them for 8 bucks. Um, it's from a couple of trade shows ago that I got these, so they're probably old hat by now, but they're still one of my favorites. I have them in, like, every color ever known to man. Um, yeah, so that would be what I did the title with. I like them because they're playful. Um, and then I used a little American Craft felt arrow right there. And the paper, the scalloped edge, um, Harvest Moon paper from Pink Paisley. And the background's, um, the background is basic gray. It's a, it's a white, ba basic gray. So anyway, there you go. Yay, we did it. Another Try It Tuesdays in the book. Have a great day. Bye-bye.